and welcome to today's 10 minute technical. So we're going to create some silver birch trees but in watercolour. So the example I'm showing you here is an acrylic paint on canvas but I want to teach you a few watercolour techniques. So we're still carrying on our black and white theme that we've been doing throughout the week. So I'll put that to one side. So we're going to look at how you can kind of achieve tone um, and the silver birch trees I think are quite a nice example of that. On my page I've got some masking tape. I've masked around the edge and I've put the masking tape down the middle. Three columns which will become my three tree trunks. Now if you don't have masking tape you could use sellotape but before you stick the sellotape to your page just stick it to an item of clothing and then pull it off so that on the tape there's a slight little bit of fluff um, and that'll stop hopefully stop um, your page from tearing when you take the sellotape off just reduces the tackiness and the stickiness of the tape enough to create well to use it for masking purposes okay excellent right i'm gonna go in so I've mixed up grey already, so it's black and water, so with watercolour you don't use white to create grey, okay? And I'm just going to paint that. Now if you haven't got masking tape, or you're not masking off your area, then you would draw in your tree trunks, and then you could just carefully paint down. But I'm just showing you this masking tape technique for today. Excellent. And a little bit more black in there for this end one here. Okay. So, ideally you would let that dry off a little, but I'm going to peel my tape off now. And it should reveal some really nice white columns. I'm going to keep that bit, I'm just going to stick that there for now, and I will explain in a moment. Um, I don't need, but I'm going to put aside some use again. This one I just stuck two bits of tape down because that overlapped each other slightly because I wanted a slightly wider tree. I didn't want them to be all completely uniform. Lovely. Excellent. So I've got my starters of my, my trees. Now, with the bit of tape that I've saved, I'm just going to rip it in half. doesn't matter if you don't get all the way down completely half. But I do want half, I just want to get that. Let's just tear. Uh, oh yeah, that should do. Lovely. And I'm just going to line that up very carefully with the edge of my tree again. Really carefully, very gently, and then just stick that back down. Ah, okay. Right, press that down just to make sure because you've got those raggedy edges. Okay, so we're going to build up a dark and a light side, okay? And there's a couple of ways you can do this. I mean, you could just paint it and you could leave half of it just the colour of the page. That's absolutely fine. But these are kind of a couple of nice little fun techniques. So on my next tree, I'm going to use um, an oil pastel, a white oil pastel. If you haven't got an oil pastel, then you can use a white wax crayon. If you haven't got a white wax crayon, just go old school and use a candle. Um, even if it's just like you take a candle out of the little metal tea light holder and scribble down the side of your tree with it. 
And we're just going to work down the side of our tree with this. Now with watercolour you can get something that's called masking fluid and it's like a gummy rubbery, it's in liquid form but when it dries it goes very kind of rubbery and gummy and you put that on your page and you paint over it and then you peel it off and it reveals the page underneath. So these, but these are some techniques that kind of do without that really. So I've got my oil pastel down my that side of my tree. That's hopefully going to work in the same way as the wax resist. And another good way is with some white acrylic paint. Oh, I won't use that brush, I will use this one. Scoop some up on a dry brush. And just work that little bit down side of the tree. Now the problem at the moment is that I am working with white on a white page. So you're not necessarily going to be able to see what I'm doing but you will see the results of it once I start to paint. So the oil pastel and the um, acrylic paint are hopefully going to work in the same way that a wax crayon would and kind of give a slight resistance to the watercolour. So you'll always be able to keep that area light. Okay, brilliant. Get that acrylic off my brush. Fabulous, okay. Now, I want to start to build up my trees. I'm gonna give this one here, the acrylic paint one, chance to dry. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to this one here, it's masking tape. And I'm just going to, with my flat brush, start to work in that edge in. I'm just going to work down the tree until the paintbrush starts to run out of paint. And just come back up and sort that edge out. I don't want to keep a dead straight sharp edge so I'm just going to encroach into that a little bit and give that a little bit of a wobble. <laughs> oh excuse me sorry. Okay so I'm just going to quite like where it hasn't taken to some of the page and I'm going to leave that like that okay I'm going to do the same I'm just going to mix up some more grey so coming across that tree trunk now can you see as soon as my brush hits that oil pastel you get little pools of water sitting on top of the oil pastel so the oil pastel repels the water it resists it Therefore, you can't really paint too much colour over that oil pastel. So that's going to leave that side of your silver birch tree white. And again, I'm just work, going to work my way down. I've got a fairly dry brush, so although my paint is wet, I'm not overloading my brush with water. And I love that. That's actually called, that's called a dry brush technique. And I really like that because it picks up the texture in the paper, which lends itself really well. Can you see? Lends itself really well to the uh, kind of paper like bark of the silk birch tree. Okay. And then I'm just going to work down this other tree. Now, my acrylic is still slightly wet, and I'm going to actually do a bigger brush down this one because the tree is wider. Um, so it might not have the desired effect. Oh, just a little bit. Yeah, so the acrylic repels it ever so slightly. So what you do, it doesn't act as a complete resist, like the wax crayon or the oil pastel would, but it allows you to achieve a little bit of texture underneath 
and it repels it ever so slightly but you can see well I can see quite close up the texture of the acrylic paint coming through which looks really nice so they all kind of have their their merits really these methods I'm just gonna run a bit more over that lovely excellent okay now I want to build this up a little bit again you got lots more time because you can pause this video you can work into it a little bit more I'm just going to work down the side of my trees and just drop a bit of darker colour in every now and again I've swapped to my round brush just so I get a slightly different edge on that tree I'm also painting with a slight curve and that's going to help give some shape Like curve every so often again paintbrush is picking up the texture of that paper the more textured your watercolor paper then the obviously the more texture you can achieve in your, your painting I'm just gonna work down there we go some quite dark areas So what I want to start to do, because these are still looking a little bit too linear, too, too neat and tidy, I'm just going to come up the edge like that. And every so often I'm going to break out I'm going to do a branch. I'm going to do a slight wobble to that line just so it breaks it down a little. And I'm just going to bring a bit of darker into that in parts just also to break that outline down so you haven't got a, like a really harsh outline to your tree. And you're building up that darker edge. This tree. You can go nice and slowly. Remember, pause, stop for breath as well. Break down that harsh line because you don't want an outline as such. Can you hear that sound again? That scratchy sound, that dry brush sound. That's a good thing for this. Up the side of that tree. That scratchy sound again. Drag that black out. Just a little bit more of a curve because I'm going a little bit too uniform in my um, brush strokes there. This wants to look a little bit natural. to the tablet of colour and then I'm just going to drop in some much darker black lines into these a few darker that's it a few darker ones there I think this is my favourite this oil oil pastel or wax crayon resist 
away some of the um, oil pastel. Okay, let's just work a few bits into here. And funny enough, I quite like it with the, um, the masking tape left on it, but I will peel it off just to show you. So you'd keep building that up. Obviously you want something that looks a little bit more like that. Can you see all the lovely marks and the texture I've got in there as well? I've also done a good old bit of um, paint flicking. I like that technique. I'll show you quickly now. Water, watery paint, finger, nail facing down to the, the page so your finger is parallel with your page and you just flick the brush off your finger so you're not moving your finger up and you're not going like that it gives you a more controlled application of the, the technique your brush so you're painting the side of your finger just Bob that on for just a little bit more texture. If it goes too heavy at any point, grab your bit of kitchen towel or your bit of cloth or your sponge, whatever you're blotting with, and you can blot. So, with that side, I would peel that off. There you go, and you'd have a very half and half kind of edge. So what you could do, if you feel that's too wide, Over the top of my tree. This is the lovely thing about art. I think sometimes you've just got to be confident enough to know that you can kind of correct things, you can work with things, you don't have to always get it right first time. So I'm just going to pop that in quickly there. Then I'll show you if I peel that off. Oh, yeah, that's better. You haven't got such a big, drastic space of white, so that looks a little bit, a bit better, doesn't it? And there you have it. So you can just have a play around. So oil pastel or wax crayon or candle, masking tape, or if you haven't got masking tape, just leave um, that side. Just don't paint to that side. And this one was your acrylic paint. So give it a go, as always. Visit us on our social media, something less boring. Let us know how you're getting on, um, as we always love to see what you've been up to. Okay, thank you. Bye.